so profound, it's so deep, this understanding of who we are as Aboriginal people. And we need to learn that. Because, uh, man, we, we can't lose it. We can't lose it. We Tom can't. McCallum is a Métis elder, teacher, and storyteller. He is committed to nurturing an Aboriginal perspective by sharing his knowledge and experiences with Métis youth. When I was growing up back home, my grandmother was a midwife. Uh, she brought a lot of people into this world. And how she traveled from place to place was a little canoe. She had a little wooden canoe, I think it was about a uh, 14 footer. And that's how she traveled back and forth. Uh, we didn't have no highways back then when I was a kid. They didn't put a highway there until 1956. And uh, when they called her, they wouldn't call her just when a woman went into labor. They would call her ahead of time. So she had quite a bit of time, uh, advance warning. So then she would take off and paddle as far as she could go. And then from the rest of the way, she'd walk. If she saw some medicines, then she would pick the medicines and hang them up and then pick them up on her way back. She only took those things that she needed for that delivery that she was going to go and do. Because uh, she seemed to know what kind of medicines were needed for that particular, particular delivery. There was a hospital in Isle Cross, but uh, not a lot of people could travel, come to the hospital, because they lived a long ways out in the bush. And uh, there was a few people that lived in that small community of Isle Cross at that time. So she took the medicines that she needed, went to that place, did what she had to do, and in return, they'd give her something, some kind of a gift. They had a name for her in Isle Cross. They called her Lutzid Nord in, in Michif, and that means a little northerner. That's what it translates to, because uh, she lived off the land. This thing that they call midwifery, from a Métis perspective, the first thing that happens is when women talk about a woman who's conceived, they say, Nantawi Snaukset. Right? That's what they say. Nantawi Snaukset, huh? And that kind of translates like, she looks like, uh, she looks like she's carrying something, I guess. That's the first stage, eh? Then the second stage is Tahuna Oswin. And that's when you're carrying that fetus. Tahuna Oswin is what they call that. And then the third stage, or actually you give birth, is what they call it. You know how you bundle a baby with their arms like this? That's, that's what it means. That you, you have a bundle. You're carrying a bundle. That's what it means. That's when you have that childbirth. And the way, for myself, I was in, it was a cradle board. Yeah. Is what we called it back home. And there was a moss bag. There was moss in there, actually, in that bag. And those were my pampers moss. It was biodegradable, right? And it was all over. You didn't have to go to Safeway to go get it. <laughs> These are the words that, that I heard back home growing up from the women. It means lots. It, it creates a vision in my mind of what that's all about, and I have seen that happen growing up. And we don't hardly do this anymore. I, one of the things that I read in, in, in some Métis book, they said Métis didn't carry their kids on their back. But that's the way my mom carried me. In that cradle board, it was on her back. And when they pick berries, they hang you on a, on a branch. Because the wind blows you back and forth. Eh? The tree moves and you're blowing back and forth. So that's, the tree was my babysitter. According to the Aboriginal perspective, the trees are the first children of Mother Earth. So that was my oldest all the siblings that were taking care of me when my mother was picking berries or doing something, cooking or something like that. So those, those kind of things happened to me. I, I, I don't remember, but this is what my mom told me. We already have, you know, this, this Western model here. Eh? We have that, we have all kinds of books, we have everything about this, eh? the medical model. We, we have that. 
What about the other side of our matiness? That side. Let's look at that and, and see how maybe we can blend it too. If it's going to make us healthy, we're not going to say, oh, no, it's not our way, you know. You'd be denying yourself your full potential. Everybody has a little bit to contribute because of what they remember, eh? A long time ago when we were growing up. And that's what we call the Aboriginal perspective, eh? And it's so important to get that. Shui Augusto.